Hi folks, Jake Von Slat here, and today I'm going to try and case harden the top of my anvil. Uh, I've done a lot of research online about how you hard face an anvil, and the uh, best way, it seems, is to weld on a half inch plate of uh, hardened steel. Uh, I don't have any hardened steel, uh, but I do have several plates of this one and a quarter inch uh, uh, steel from a plastic injection molding tool uh, that I got from, oh god, four jobs ago now, uh, and a couple of these two inch thick uh, plates of mild steel. And I have built them up into an anvil shape. Uh, I milled a horn on one end of the pieces of, of the two inch piece of steel. Uh, uh, milled that with the milling machine, did a 3D profile, and uh, then milled everything flat so it would all fit tightly together, and then the intention is to weld it all together once it's done. Um, but the top of an anvil needs to be a hardened surface, and I've done a lot of research, and there seem to be several methods uh, for doing this. Um, uh, hard facing with a uh, welding rod, uh, there's this hardened welding rod that's used for putting wear surfaces on things like excavator buckets and you can you can buy that and then you can just lay down bead after bead after bead um, and uh, 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 other ways I've seen attempted to harden by uh, uh, heating and quenching um, my conclusion is that none of these ways are really good. And in fact, what I'm going to try today very well likely uh, uh, will not work. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So what I've got, I've got a, a bucket of cherry red uh, case hardening compound. Uh, this is, uh, you heat up your piece in a oven or a forge until it's cherry red and then you uh, sprinkle this stuff on it it forms a coating and then you reheat it and then quench your piece um, and what it does is it infuses carbon into the steel and makes it hardenable so i'm going to give that a try and then in addition i have mixed up a tub of 10 gallons of super quench uh, super quench is a, a essentially a saltwater brine that has uh, uh, anti-bubbling and surfacant uh, things added to it. So, uh, this particular recipe is 10 gallons of water, 10 pounds of rock salt, 64 ounces of dish soap, and then 16 ounces of a uh, surfacant. Uh, in this case I used a uh, agricultural surfacant for uh, herbicide uh, uh, to help um, uh, herbicides soak onto plants. Um, but there are lots of recipes online. If you uh, if you search for super quench, you'll 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 find the recipe. So what I'm going to do now is um, uh, I'm going to fire up the the forge. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the foundry furnace. Uh, now my foundry furnace has a body that lifts, so you can take the crucible up from the side. And I've lifted the body all the way up and put in a bunch of fire brick to make the chamber long enough to receive the. Uh, the anvil top, and I made a couple of uh, tools for lifting this, um, so this will help me lift it in and out. Um, these holes were already existing in the anvil top. I, I am going to uh, fill these with uh, rods of steel once once it's hardened. Uh, I also have these two tools for manipulating it, um, which is going to be uh, interesting. Uh, this is, uh, weighs about 50 pounds, and when it's red hot, um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, and this is a little uh, shaker full of the cherry red. So um, I am going to uh, fire things up and uh, get going here. Okay, the burner is ready.
Okay, I think I got a good coating on all of it, so now it goes back in the furnace. And I think I have enough propane.
Well, that was interesting. Glad I put on that face shield. I'd say that water's about 180 degrees now, at least. The steel is probably about the same. So the question is, did it harden? Files definitely skating in a way that uh, it did not before. It's definitely not getting a bite, so I think we may have a hardened surface here. Excellent. This is Jake Von Slat. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.